first speech for the passage journey. Uh, the purpose of the speech is to introduce yourself to the club and learn the basic structure of the speech. Time of please note the speech length is four to six minutes. Always. <laughs> Episodes of this American Life podcast. One of the hosts, Ira Glass, was actually sharing his experience, the struggles he faced from being a Bosnian refugee to a successful Harvard graduate. Then I started to think about my life, and this is what my speech is now. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you my life podcast, Coffee with Kaushik. <laughs> so I will be a host for today's show. So welcome to my show. Before I hop on to my childhood, I would like to take a sip of coffee. It balances my tension. I think I was eight when I started hating schools and test scores. I had a feeling that schools were like dungeons. My teachers used to put, my teachers used to lay eggs on my test scores. No matter what, seeing all, seeing all my sufferings, my mom thought of putting me in another school. The next day, the new school. It was written. P over Lady Public School on sentence. I still remember the day I went crying all the way from my home to the school. A couple of weeks later, I started mingling with my fellow classmates. Fellow classmates. Eventually, I thought of I thought of habituating with the school. Surprisingly, I discovered that teachers can be friendly. So, gradually, my test scores started getting ones on each side of the rig. So going on, I uh, life was fun till then. Then came my tenth class. So I went to my tenth class. So this was my all-time favorite academic year. We had a lot of fun, like cracking jokes during school hours, and teasing girls was one of my favorite sport. <laughs> so, but we all know that a year has only 365 days. So exams came. So all were into exams, and after that, it was time to say goodbye to my friends, my school, and my beloved teachers. That was the most emotional point in my life. A couple of months later, it was time for me to join the intermediate. And really, I hate intermediate. It was a quandary in my life, intermediate. <laughs> and somehow I passed it, and I wrote a few entrance exams, and I got into Amrita. But in Amrita, I was all, you know, everything was strange. A new place, new people. I don't know where to go, whom to meet, and how to be. So until uh, not not so longer, I met few wonderful people on earth, and they called them, themselves as Toastmasters Amrita Bangalore. <laughs> they have my family for now. Then, before I hop on to my hobbies and beliefs, I would like you guys to make a small sip of coffee. I, okay. I have a hell lot of hobbies, and I go fishing every Sunday in my home. Not now, because I'm a master. Apart from fishing, I, I love coding, I love trekking, and at times I do, do I do cook food in my house. So uh, I believe that hobbies tell a lot about a person's mentality. Like mine, they tell that I'm creative minded and I'm a social life. I'm a social person. Well, beliefs. I don't have any Friday beliefs. I believe that respecting others is equal to respecting God. And I see God in every being. That's simple. <coughs> Well, and I'm a life learner, and today I'm, I'm, I got a report in my podcast to that I, I actually learned a couple of things from my fellow Toastmasters, and there I'm, I, this is my small report. So, Sanjay he was my mentor, so the thing I, I learned from him is, no matter how bad you are, always be cool and confident. <laughs> and Saradi, smile is important. Sanjay Narendi, I learned. Sanya Reddy, uh, I learned she's not here, so I should take candlelight dinner before, <laughs> before my death. Yeah, so, uh, and Sanjana, I like your friendly attitude, so I think I should even learn how to be friendly with others. And Srinidhi, I learned nothing from you. <laughs> Ashwin, I learned how to be active and create energy among a mob. And Suraj, nice guy. <laughs> and Anupam. Being, being crazy is cool. And Haramambe was not a well Haram. Haram. And Abhinav is not in. 
So B bold, strong, and momos are not bad. <laughs> well, Sinaina, Amrita, and Manokna, thanks for being my lovely sisters, and I love you all. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's how life is. We gotta balance things. No matter what, life gives us many things. The only thing we have to do is take a sip of it, just like a coffee, and stop running across and stop running around unnecessary things. That makes life more beautiful than you ever imagined. That's all for today. Meet you in the next episode. This is Kaushik, and you're in coffee with Kaushik. Thank you.